So the first thing I'm going to do is import my background images. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag these in here. I have this tree. Nice, good, high quality image. Let's see, I need to stretch it a little bit. And over this way, stretch it down. Okay, so that should be good. I hit my check mark and it's positioned well. Next, I'm going to bring in my Hong Kong skyline. And that I'm going to place along the bottom here. Drag it out, and that should be good enough. I'm going to hit the check mark. I can make some adjustments later also. So now we'll get into the layer masks. So over here I have the Hong Kong skyline. I'm going to, I can work with this. I'm going to add a layer mask. So it's this rectangle with a circle in it and you'll see it puts this rectangle over here with a white fill on it. White means it's revealing everything. When you paint black in it makes things transparent. So I'm going to use my paintbrush and with layer masks you use paintbrush and you use black and white. So I'm going to flip this around to where black is in the color picker which means it will paint with black. And I would be able to go through and make this hide or visible and show what's underneath. Okay, But what I'm going to do and what I want you to use for your background is a gradient. So with the gradient, um, I want a linear gradient. Let's be this one angle. This is the linear. It's in a linear. So I also have the black and white. So I should be able to double click on this and get my tools up. Oh, tools are over here. So anyway, I'm going to drag that. That's too faint here. So I'm going to come closer to it and just drag again. That's much better. Um, hmm. I may come in and drag down some more so that I can see more of the tree. I can come back in and work on this too. So I just have to try a few things to see how I want my gradient. So I'm going to bring it down even more. Hmm, that's kind of cool because it starts to show some grass here. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this. Now, if I wanted to, I could stay on my gradient um, on my layer mask here and this is the layer mask icon this is your art icon if you go in to make color changes and adjustments to your art you have to click on that I'm staying on my mask but I could get my paintbrush and I've got a nice soft brush my opacity is way up I'm going to come way down and I could come into areas and get more of the city showing. Okay, But I don't really want to do that at this time. I like the way this is blending in. I like the subtleties of the city there. So I'm going to leave this at that. So that's my background. So I have my two layers making up my background now. Or my two images making up my background. I'm going to bring in another image. And this is going to be the eyes that sit up here. So this is one of my subjects. So it's going to sit up in this area and what I need to see is the edge of my page. So my art is right up into here. So I'm going to put it here. I think I'll stretch it across some more though. Oops, I'm going to hold shift. Stretch this across here. Okay, so for this I'm going to use my brush 
and I'm going to use a big brush and I'm going to use it at 100% and I'm going to start off using it pretty solid maybe a little softness to it and I go to click on here it says it's not editable that's because it hasn't been rasterized so I'm going to go in and rasterize it and then <laughs> I didn't add my layer mask yet so I was just painting black so I'm going to go down here, click Layer Mask, it's highlighted, I'm working on it, and I can just come in and get rid of all this. Now I'm going to want to come in a little bit softer, closer in, so, but I want to get this much off. Now I'm going to get a little bit softer. And actually, I'm going to start coming down a little bit here, too. Definitely want this soft coming into here. I want this all gone, though. I would need to clean this up a little bit more, but I hope you get the idea of it. So again, just a little more subtle as I come in close. In this area, I want to tone down just a little bit. So you can control how strong an image is with the opacity, just like any kind of blending. Okay, so here's this image. I'm not going to finish this up. I'm going to bring in my other image. And it's this girl on a swing. I'm not sure which side I'm going to like it best on. She's looking inward, so I think I'm going to put it over here. And then that means I'm going to have to come up with something else over here. So I need to go into this image and clean it up a little bit because it's got watermarks on it that are not cool. All this stuff won't show up because it's going to be in the back um, covered up with a mask but some of it will and I don't want any of it in there. So let's see, add my layer mask. Oops. Add my layer mask and I've already got my black but I'm going to bring my opacity back up and I'm going to bring the hardness up so I can come in with my quick select tool and select my figure so I can use a combination of this so this has gotten in there I can get my minus selection tool and come in here and then I'm going to use my lasso tool with my plus on it to come in here and get this better. So I'm going to do this quick and then I'm going to have to fix it. It's the only way to go. It's not a very clean way. So I'm going to just come in here and you'll be able to see that you can fix these. So you could get an idea of what something's going to look like and then come back later and clean it up so I can inverse this selection, inverse, and fill with black. So I'm going to get my paint. I don't know where the paint bucket is. So I'm going to go edit fill with black. So it does that. I'm going to deselect this. And I'm going to get my paintbrush again and I'm going to go in get it smaller and clean up around here so you'll see this is very sloppy right now but I'm able to work back into it and I would need a lot of care this is where the most of my time is going to be on this image okay 
I can flip this to white and that will bring back this. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out and see what I have right now. I have to get another image for here, but basically this is just a, to give you a start and an idea of how these layer masks work. I'm going to do a little more detail on uh, finishing up this piece. So I'm going to first finish up these eyes. I've got this side in pretty good shape the way I want it. And I've got my black brush. Let's see, i got to get on my layer mask area, so I have to make sure that it's the mask that's selected. I have my brush. I'm going to flip to black. And right now I have the soft brush, and I have it at 34% because I'm coming in and um, softening it. I don't want a hard edge. So I'm going to hit my brackets and reduce the size of my brush. And I'm going to come in here and just start working around the eyelashes a little bit. fleshy tone around there. Come in here. Again, I'm working with really low opacity so that I can soften this up. Using your opacity is key in really making things blend in. Okay, that's going to do for now. I'm going to come down and I'm going to zoom in and show you how to clean up a watermark here and how to clean up around the swing. So that takes zooming in. Getting over here to my girl on the swing. Zoom in. And so two things. One is for the ropes. Just going to, again, adjust my opacity. I'm going to start off around 30, 50. I'm painting, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Got to get to my swing and I'm on the mask. So I'm going to come in around here and get closer and then I'm going to get, oops, I'm going to get do the same thing here on this edge. So right now I'm at 53, so that's still pretty strong. So I'm just softening this edge, softening this edge, and then I need to get my brush smaller and lower my opacity and use a little bit more care as I come in closer. So real small brush. Oops, Command Z. I want to soften my opacity even more. So 25 or so, and I'll come in nice and tight around my rope and around the hand, and I will work in around her hair and clean it up. If there's something that's missing, I come back in and flip it around to white and do that. But the thing I want to show now is what to do around the um, where there's watermarks. So for watermarks I have to clone out but I need to go to the image so I'm going here to my image and getting the clone tool. I'm going to zoom in even more and I'm going to option click to get that bullseye, select by clicking, and then work over this. I'm going to increase it just a little bit more. And where that plus sign, that's where it's on the selection. So I need to option click here, come across. 
um, up here, option click again, get that edge in there, and I'm going to option click up here, smaller brush, option click again to get the angle right so that I can come right in along the edge of the dress. Now I'm going to get the dress, option click, option click, option, option, click. Just have to be careful and watch where that plus is. So now I'm And look at these edges. This is where I need to get back on my layer mask. So here's the layer mask. Get my, flip this around to white, use my brush, and get very opaque, small brush. So the sky is almost the color of her flesh tone, but I'm going to want to just be a little more careful as I come around these legs. So I'm painting it back in and then I'll come around the edge a little more carefully. Here's more watermarks. So I go back to my photo image. Um, get my clone tool, the rubber stamp, come in, go from both directions to just get the best coverage I can, get the toes, come up here, there's watermarks across her dress, I think you get the picture. Zoom out, see where I'm at. And the hair is a tough one. But again, I have to be on the image when I'm doing the cloning and on the mask when I'm painting with the black and white. And this is where I'm at after cleaning up some. I probably have a little bit more to clean up, but I got rid of the watermarks and I did some nice edges here. I blended the rope in to the tree. I did some softening around these eyes and blending it in with the background. Now at the moment, I have my two images that make up my background, the tree and the Hong Kong skyline that I used a transition mask on. And then I have my eyes and my girl on the swing being blended in with this. So I really need one other item. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring something in here. I might bring something in here, um, but I'm gonna search for another item. So this will continue a little bit longer, but this is where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna zoom in. Well, maybe I can't zoom in since I'm in QuickTime. Um, but uh, this is it.